this video i'm going to discuss about top 15 python programming questions and their solutions the first question is write a python program to print prime numbers between 100 and 200 it could be any number all right so pause the video and think how are you going to write it and i'm going to provide you the solution so time to pause the video all right now let's give it a shot so the hint was you have to use the for loop so for num is the variable in range 100 to 200 if all right num this is the remainder so if remainder is not equal to zero for all i in range you have to use this function in range two because one is always a prime number so from two to that number so you have to start from two and whatever the number is you have to loop through it and then print it let's run it and you can see that it will print all the numbers which are prime numbers between 100 to 200 and these number are prime numbers great so those who were able to guess this answer let's move to the next write a sort function to sort the elements in a list time to pause the video and think of this solution all right so let's give it a shot the answer is let's make a list and give random numbers and then use l dot sort list dot sort reverse equals true and then print l print the list there you go it sorted the elements in the reverse order if you say reverse is false or you just don't go give it it is going to sort in the ascending order good let's move to the third question the third question is write the same sorting function without using the list dot sort so time to pause the video and think of a solution do not use the sort function so the answer is create a new list just a placeholder and then while data in so while you scan through the elements in the list minimum just set the first one as minimum this zero is the first element for x in data underscore list if x is so if x, x is greater than minimum right then the minimum is x right and then it's it's supposed to be in the descending order the reverse order now new list list dot append the minimum value and data underscore list dot remove so remove it from the data element this is one of the fun examples for you to really understand the lists print new list there you go so it prints the list in the reverse order next question is one of my favorites write a python program to print fibonacci series now pause the video and try it for yourself those who were able to get it think of this create a function let's say f and then if n is not equal to zero is equal to zero then return zero else if n equals one then return one else it should add n minus one and n plus two n minus two so that is a function next i in range zero to twelve print f of i you can change the range as what you want and there you go i printed fibonacci series limited you have to limit it otherwise it will be a function it will be a constant loop so that is how you print a fibonacci series next question is how to print a list in reverse probably we have done this already think of another method of doing it 
this question was a little tricky question it meant that you need to print a list values in the reverse order that's it you don't have to sort it so all you have to do is given a list you need to print from 51 to 21 so that was a catch again try to pause the video and think on it all right those who were able to do it so let's write a function reverse l and return this and call this function as soon as you call this function it's going to return it let's run and see look at that it starts from 51 50 48 36 and last is 21 so reversing a list not sorting a list that is a catch okay next question is write a program to check whether a string is a palindrome or not hint a palindrome is a word or a phrase which can read the same backward or forward so m a d a m and m a d a m you have to check if the word phrase or any number is a palindrome or not guys you can pause the video and think of a solution okay so write a function is palindrome and reverse equal to join dot reverse so you have to create a string join now check if both strings are equal or not if s equal rev then return true or else return false let's run it using let's call this function using this string so i'm going to say is palindrome ma'am and say true if i say ma'am one it's not a palindrome anymore it says false so that's how you do palindrome validation let's move on to the next question write a python program to print set of duplicates in a list so given a duplicate print a set of duplicates so print a set of duplicates in the list this is how you print it set of x for x in l if l dot count is greater than one let's run it so one four and five have duplicates values in the list next question is write a program to print the number of words in a given sentence this is a very common python programming question the answer is print length dot split so split based on spaces it's going to give you a seven given an array of n elements write a python function to search a given element x it's like a binary search kind of a thing right so think of the solution pause the video think on the solution here's the solution search define array for i in range of length of array if array of i equal to x return i else not present in the list that's how you search it now let's search this array for 10 not present in the list and let's search for 1 or let's search for 4 and you would say it's present in 0 1 2 and 3 so it returns the index at which you have this value present let's move on to the next one write a python program to implement a binary search very simple the same thing so that's how you would do a binary search let's run it so go through the code uh, array and target lower zero and upper is the length of array so you found out that what is the array because you know you need to do a loop and then while the lower index is zero it's always going to be zero for right for an array and upper is the length of array lower less than upper and then you divide by two binary search is basically you you divide the entire array into two parts and then the first part 
if then find out the value if it is in the first part or the latter and then if it is in the first part again divide the value into two that's how you would do a binary search and the answer is six read about binary search it's very common next question write a python program to plot a simple bar chart or a hidden chart these are very simple i'm not gonna waste your time just this is how you plot charts use the matplotlib matplotlib next is write a python program to join two strings so very simple you can join using plus and then join two strings very very simple that's why i'm not write a python program to extract digits from a given string pause it and think on it pause the video all right let's look at the answer so let's look at the answer it's if this is the string you want to find out the digits all you have to do is use this is digit so test string the original string is this and then join filter this is a lambda function if i is digit then print it else don't print it let's run it there you go you were able to extract the digits from a string next question write a python program to split strings using new line delimiter new line a new line pause the video think about it okay let's look at it so this is a test program you need to enter new line all you have to do is you have to strip the right side and put a space so there you go this is how you split so based on space i'm going to do a split so this is a test program it's a split last question given a string as your input delete any recurring character and return the new string so if you have a string delete all the characters which are repeating pause the video think on that all right those who were able to do it this is very simple create a function and then you have to find out if you have seen the characters you know spin through it and let's change this this is Mississippi. let's see if you have seen the characters there you go so this is how you would do these are top 15 python programming questions with their answers hope this was helpful and i'm going to paste all the questions in the description section of the video below as well so that you can just try this thank you for watching